Today's episode of Cult America, I am in Doha, Qatar to drink some delicious Middle Eastern tea. I'm in Souk Bakif. This is one of the main market areas in Doha, and I'm looking for some tea. First, we're going to visit a local retailer that wholesales tea and see if I can find something cool to take home. No, no, small that I could take home. Like small? Something really good and... Okay, so basically the tea was not expensive and uh, it's hard for me to judge if it's really the best, but they claim that this is what they would drink. They said that all Arabs drink this and um, I'm pretty excited to try it, but I'll have to go home to do so. So the issue that I'm having is that there's a specific little local looking tea place that I'm looking for and uh, all these streets look the same uh, so I haven't been able to find it but I'll keep looking on. So the cool thing about searching for tea is that I've discovered a lot of streets that I would not have found otherwise such as this street dedicated apparently to animals and pets. We're still looking for tea, but it seems like we've wandered into the endless world of pets. For those of you who live in Europe, you could feel right at home with these little bastards. It's funny, a lot of people think that I'm obsessed with tea, and to a degree, that's really, really true. Um, but probably my favorite thing about tea right now is the fact that it's sending me on a wild goose hunt through endless small streets. And uh, yeah, I'm totally lost, but being lost when you're traveling is great. But if you like sugar, that's good and it's strong. <laughs> At home, will you drink the same tea? Me? Yeah. Yeah. So my tea in the smoke shop was actually pretty good. I got to speak with some locals, but I couldn't really taste the tea itself on account of all the smoke and all of the sugar. That was like half full of sugar. It was kind of disgusting. So now I'm going to buy some on the street. Maybe I'll try it without sugar. This is like milky, spicy, very sweet, but not like that other tea. It's not over the top. It's like uh, everything that a Starbucks chai tea wishes it was. I suspect that those two cups of tea I drank are significantly and seriously caffeinated because right now I feel like my heart's about to jump out of my chest and I'm a little bit shaky. So I've been waiting, 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 and finally the dude comes out and says, sorry man, only food, no tea. Thank you very much. So uh, I'm a little bit of an idiot because he probably told me that the first time and I wasn't listening. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go on my way. All right, Doha is pretty awesome. Good music, cool people, delicious tea. Like, comment, and subscribe. So I am in the Qatari Center for the Hearing Impaired, which is a completely different story. Um, what I want to comment on is this tea. 
I was searching all over the place for a good cup of tea, and I found it. It's perfect. It's minty, and it's not too strong. 